Hey everyone, Technomint here with the video for you guys. Now, if you're not receiving a verification code, you want to follow these steps to fix it. We're going to go through these steps to troubleshoot, so let's get started. Usually, when it comes to verification, if you're not receiving it through either SMS, email, you want to follow these steps, which is going to be, first thing is, you want to ensure that you have a strong signal, or if you don't, pull down the control menu, put your phone on airplane mode. This can also be done from the settings. You can go to airplane mode, turn it off, and that does a quick network refresh so that if it is a connectivity issue, it's gonna go ahead and fix that. Now moving on to the next thing you might wanna consider if you're getting sent a text code, try to see if you can get it to send an email. Sometimes email works better, so send it to your email. And once you check your email, go to mailboxes here, or the mailbox are here, and you wanna check things like the junk and the spam one as well. So as you can see here, see some of them have labeled under junk, some will have under spam and then make sure you have the right email account that you're checking and that will help as well now if you're still not getting it the next thing you want to make sure of course is always make sure the phone number you are typing is correct on the device so to verify that you want to check your your phone number which is going to be into your in your contact card wherever that number is make sure you enter right sometimes you accidentally miss a digit and that could also send it to the wrong place now, after that, the next thing you want to ensure that your phone is not on do not disturb by any chance. So pull down the control menu and right here in the focus mode, if it's on do not disturb, you want to tap on it to turn off do not disturb so you can actually get the call, calls and the text messages on your device. Now, along with that, the next thing you want to check out is going to be a setting in your, if you have an iPhone in your settings, you're going to go to apps and then you're gonna to wanna to go to the phone app itself. So let's go into our phone app right here. And then you wanna ensure that it doesn't silence unknown caller. So you wanna make sure this is turned off. Along with that, you also wanna ensure that there is not blocked by accident, you didn't block them previously. So make sure if they're on that list, remove them. And then along with that, let's go back into the apps here now for the messages here. Now this is gonna be another important setting here you wanna check out is if you happen to have filtering on, where it says filter unknown sender. If this is on, it's gonna filter out your and remove those messages. You're gonna turn that setting off so you can get text messages from anyone without getting filter as well. Now, along with that is sometimes uh, some services will, will have a delay but you can request another code. Sometimes you just have to request a second code if it doesn't work. Now, if that is still isn't working, the next thing to do is go ahead and do this step is on a phone, you're gonna wanna turn it on and off to make sure it's not an issue there. So with the iPhone, there's different ways to turn it off. Here, I can hold the volume up and the side button at the same time to slide to power off. Or on the newer phone, you can now pull down the control menu, click on that power icon and also slide it off. And if you have an Android phone as well, just go ahead and turn off the phone and then restart it. Sometimes a little restart will ensure that things are sm running smoothly. So I'm hearing holding on to this side button right now so I can see to turn it back on. Once I see the Apple logo, I let go. Or once you see your Samsung or Android logo for that phone, it's gonna be turning on as well. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And once we get it to turn on, it should go ahead and work. And the next thing to also ensure, it's gonna be on your carrier. So in your carrier, sometimes a carrier can block certain numbers, thinking it's spam. So call your carrier and ask if there is anything being blocked on your device, especially when it comes to code, they can also block it as well. So hopefully by following all these steps, you're able to now get the verification code you're looking for. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your phone. We'll see you guys next time.